with a large number of cyclists now turning to Zwift to get their cycling fix. Today, what I'm gonna cover is the onboarding process for the brand new Zwifter. This is the process that you'll go through if you've signed up on the web for a new account, have downloaded Zwift, have clipped in, and are ready to ride. If you're an experienced Zwifter, you may not have seen this process. There's now an onboarding tutorial in game. Now I do appreciate this is a longer than normal video here on the GP Llama YouTube channel and I will link to two timestamps below in the video description for the first half and the part at the end which I think are most important to customize the experience. But if you're here for the long haul and wanna watch the whole thing and the tutorial play out on Watopia, I've also added a ton of overlays to give the text description some context to learn about Zwift. And with that, let's get into it. So here we are in the Llama Lab, just about to start the first ride with this brand new account. Now I've downloaded Zwift on my Windows 10 machine I've got the username and password there. We're gonna hit log in and run through the process. Okay, let's go. Okay, first up, that's different. Uh, the license agreement here, we have the EULA with all of this to go through. There's quite a bit. This is all over on the web as well if you want to have a look at there okay now tell us about yourself we have a few options here i'm either a runner a cyclist both or a triathlete i am a cyclist okay now what brings you to zwift to get in shape to ride with friends training or racing Ooh. let's go ride with friends but it, kind of encompasses everything, I think. There needs to be all of the above, but I'll go ride with friends. Here we go, first pairing screen. Now, this machine, I'm running Windows 10 uh, with all of these service packs. Scotty the Squirrel there is telling us to connect everything. Now, you see up the top corner there, I have Bluetooth. I have no Ant Plus in this machine. So no Ant Plus dongle connected. That's, that's, that's fine, Scotty. I'm good with that, mate. I'm using Bluetooth for here. So what we need to do is first up, search for a power meter. That'll be the kicker core. I've got quite a few here. Kicker calls what I'm on via Bluetooth for the power source. Controllable trainer, being a smart trainer. Kicker core, it controls the resistance of the hills and also erg mode. Done, that's auto populated cadence, which is also handy because kicker does cadence as well. I don't need a pair of speed sensor because the speed comes from the power in game. So for my ride, we're almost there. Next up is the heart rate strap. Also Bluetooth and we're done. So they're the four key components for the pairing screen. We have power, controllable, cadence, and heart rate, all over Bluetooth. Looking good. We hit OK, now we've got setting up Zwift. OK. I've been on Zwift for five, I think it was over five years now. So this is gonna be all brand new. Here we go. OK, I need to select gender. Go male, hi, oh, we're in. I think I'm about. Okay, we scroll, we can't click that, we can have to scroll it. Ah, uh, that's in pounds. I work in kilos and centimeters, but let's go 175, yep. Okay, we hit save on that. There, that's not too bad. It's got hair. It didn't know that I didn't have hair, okay. Head type, ah, that'll be fine for head type, hair. All right, let's go legit. Though we can get funky if we want to, but let's go, let's go legit me for now. Facial hair, none, okay. Okay, close as I can get for this account. Okay, we can select the frame. So by default, we have three bikes. We have Zwift Carbon, Zwift Mountain Bike, and Zwift TT. Carbon, default color of the bike. Let's go, I like blue. Let's go blue. Okay, so road bike, blue road bike, me looking like me, finish. Alrighty, okay, so here we are in the world. We've been dropped in with everyone. Welcome to Watopia, start pedaling to begin. Let's start pedaling. No socks either. Okay, we have power. We have the heads up display on top there. We don't have anything else on screen, so we don't have rider lists. 
Cam's rider familiar stuff with all Zwift has to offer. Fantastic. Now the screen resolution or the screen in game resolution is quite low. I'll go through and change that later on once we've done this vanilla onboarding process. Heart rate, watts, everything is good. I am ready to explore. Settle in at a comfort speed. Oh! That dude's got some cadence going. Looks like an event starting just there, everyone coming off the rolling. Okay. That's the top of the screen. Okay, so that's telling me about the heads up display at the top. Uh, everything's in miles at the moment. We'll need to change that to metric at some point. Okay, we have the cadence sensor already hooked up. Yep, and heart rate to your right. Yep, cadence and heart rate's already up there, so we're good for that. Try pedaling a bit harder. Okay. Done. A bit softer. Done. Okay, now minimap has just popped up top right hand corner. Will give us an idea of the location within the world. Yes, it does. And the other riders on screen. Okay, let's pop the minimap up and introduce that. I can also see my drops in blue up there ticking up. So I'm already accumulating drops. Okay, it tells me about the little dots on the screen. Now, I'm not going to steer at all here. I'm going to let it drive. Where do we go? I'm guessing it's going to go left the easy way. Yes, it does. And the minimap's spinning over. Okay. Now, it's telling us more about the minimap there. The shadow represents the profile of the course, showing upcoming climbs in the flats. Okay, it's a relatively flat. You can click on the map to cycle through different views. Yes, we can. One, two, and three. Cool, cool. So there's the mini map intro. Now, on the right hand side of the screen, all the Zwifters pop up. So that's what we're used to seeing. There's myself and everyone around. Their name, ahead or behind, yep, distance, power, output, and their home country. I'm currently from Unset. That's just a brand new vanilla account that's been created. This is my covered locate friends and Zwifters, yep. Or just try to catch the Zwifters just ahead of you. <laughs> that's called the Zwift effect. Always a race. Okay, yep, if you see the top two there, so, uh, or the top one now, or one of them up there. Little graph, just above their time, they'll be doing a workout, so it won't be that uh, interactive, I guess, socially. Phone icon means they've got the Zwift companion app connected. Okay, yep, see Randall has the Zwift companion app connected there. Wooding, Gonzalez, heading underwater, look at all the fish. Okay, there we go. It knows where we are. One great way to Zwift is training to get fitter. Yes. Okay, it's telling us about training mode now. I think it's going to drop me into ERG because I have a smart trainer paired. Okay, there's a vast library of workouts and training plans. Yes. I'm not getting any ride ons either because. I'm a little stealthy at the moment, being from no country. Uh, now with the training menu, you can look at training plans. Okay, so it's talking to us about the uh, training plans. Okay, thank you Zwift. Dolphins. Okay, more on the training plans. Let's 
Still level one, haven't leveled up. More on the training plans. Five minutes in. Somebody doing an FTP test there in front. More on training plans. Mountain biker there. Okay, group workouts. That almost needs to be a bit of an overlay here, what, what they look like. Uh, text is one thing, but explaining a group workout there, they can be fantastic, but oh, I've unlocked something. I drafted somebody. Okay, group workouts, nobody gets dropped. Okay, now it's talking about events, which you've no doubt seen the events on Zwift. The tutorial, though, the first time I've been introduced to what an event is. There we go, different types of events. Here we go. Okay, the event introduction starts. Races, group rides, and group workouts. You can also do meetups, and hopefully soon clubs will come along to hold their own member events, rides, races, and meetups and things. There we go, more about events on Zwift.com or using the Zwift companion app. As Wooding is just passing me now. I'm jealous of those socks though, dude. I need to go and customize my avatar. Okay. I feel like we're getting to the end of the tutorial now. Fondo series, okay, other events. Two miles in. Take a look around. We're still in the fish tank. <laughs> Wells and hills, challenging climbs. And endlessly flats. Endlessly flats. Maybe. Oh, I got it right on. Thank you. Get a little harder up the hill here. 3% gradient, as you see above my head there, in yellow. Okay, talking about, look, this is interesting, but I think people are gonna be wowed by the 3D world they're in. That was talking about world choice there. Almost needs a bit of a pop-up to show you what world choice looks like at the start. Uh, the second option of guest worlds on daily rotating schedule. There's now two guest worlds. Giving you a total of three worlds to choose from when you first log in for free rides or your own workouts. Okay, guest, wide, guest worlds currently include London, New York, Richmond, Innsbruck and Yorkshire. Richmond recently having a refresh, which makes it look all brand new. Okay, we're on 0% gradient on the flats, just taking along here. New watch up here, expansions. Yeah, we saw Titans Grove added just, well, not, not that long ago with rolling hills and dinosaurs. I think that was the latest addition we've seen. Okay, introducing us to the route selection. Which routes to choose from depending on the distance and elevation, yes. That's so if we're going for a free ride, we can choose a predefined route without having to turn. There we go. Introduction to, introduction to turns with uh, the, either the arrows in the keyboard or within the companion app. I'm trying to be hands off with this so I don't interrupt the tutorial.
Um, has it reminded me to turn a fan on yet? Because I'm getting a bit warm here. <laughs> Hot tip, turn a fan on. Uh, a U-turn, yep, so if you press down the keyboard, you'll do a U-turn. Also an option on the heads-up display that comes in down the bottom, or in the companion app. There's a lot to take in just for this 10 minute ride here. Try the different routes, yes. Okay, introducing us to achievements. So there's route achievements. If you complete any of the routes, you'll get that route badge over in your locker, I guess you call it, your ride locker. And there are a number of other achievements as well, such as power, speed, uh, it's quite a few. There we go, through the menu there, which will take us to the account settings to have a look at our achievements after that, after we've ridden. You saw before, the achievement that I unlocked was the Master Draftsman achievement by drafting somebody for five seconds or so. Okay, goal setting as well. Wow, it's really piling on the info here. You have distance or time-based settings, I believe, every week. They can be set within the companion app, I know that much. Also within the uh, configuration of Zwift when you first start there. There we go, set the goal for the week, distance or time. Yep. Busy day in Mytopia, quite a few riders heading the other way. Okay, now it's introducing us to what the drops are. So just above there in the blue, earning drops, which are calculated based on, it's a bit of their secret source actually. There are, it's based on the effort that you're doing, the gradient you're on, they're so putting in miles, climbing hills and getting ride-ons from other Zwifters. Just bumps it up a little bit. If you get a ride-on, I think your drops start increasing a little bit more than not having a ride-on recently. Being on a gradient, I'm on a 1% gradient now. I think above 3% you earn more. And once you uh, get enough drops, you can trade your drops for items in the drop shop. Bikes, kit, wheels. There we go from the garage. There we go. <laughs> I'm a little bit ahead of the uh, tutorial. And they do release new bikes, kit, wheels, etc. on occasion. Lots of riders coming the other way today. Very busy times. Okay, it's introducing us to the different performance um, categorizations of wheels and bikes. And things, obviously, a time trial bike is going to be faster on the flats. Maybe not so up the hills. Lighter wheels, again, faster up the hills. And we do know now that mountain bikes are faster on the dirt than a road bike. Oh, we can change up the hair. Awesome. <laughs> Avatar customization is available through there. Next up, don't forget a drink. And a towel. We'll have a quick look at that in a moment. Once our tutorial graduates us out into uh, being a true Zwifter. There's a tip, switching bikes 
or wheels, you have to be at a complete stop. I think it saves people from doing sort of in-game shifties. More kits, yes. We unlocked the oat root kit the other day for completing stage three of that event. So more things to wear. Off up a hill, you see up top of me there, 5%. It's a little harder to pedal than the smart trainer. Okay, now they're introducing us to XP, which is different to drops. XP is experience points within game. You see the orange bar at the top in the heads up display? It's progressing very, very slowly across the screen. And as they say here, each level comes with new unlocks and things. Currently level one, there are 50 levels, which I believe get progressively harder to achieve. But it's all about riding, riding, riding. Oh, there we go. Tells us all about it on the screen there. As soon as we fill the bar there, it gets to the next level, level two, once we get past that. Okay, the segment's right. So it's now introducing us to above the screen there, new segment marker. So we're coming up to a sprint point now. And boom, it's the first time we've seen the sprint uh, leaderboard. Live results come in. Now the live results for everybody it's a rotating 60 minutes, or a 60 minute rolling window. So when I set my time, it'll be on that list for 60 minutes, and then it goes away. So if I'm the fastest, I'll be right at the top, I'll get a green jersey. <laughs> I'm not sprinting tutorial, it's cool. We're just going through the tutorial today. You see there's somebody on the recumbent, 24 seconds for the sprint section. Go, go, go. <laughs> And then that time will be there until it expires after 60 minutes from finishing, from they finish that segment. Yeah, that makes sense. Get the steady hard pace, I can do it. Oh, we're getting there, we'll get there. So if you, even if you ride longer than that 60 minutes, your time will still disappear from that list. Gives everybody just a chance to be on top of the leaderboard. You can't set the fastest time and log in all day. There we go. And on the PR list, which is what's scrolling there. That will be there for uh, 30 days. There we go. XP points dropping up every mile. <laughs> Again, I'm a little ahead of the tutorial. I probably could have jammed this down to just a few minutes. But I want to show what that, uh, or I want to learn what this new onboarding experience is all about. Off. On a smart trainer, so definitely using all the gears as the resistance changes there. You see at top there, 6% in yellow. Not quite a walk in the park. Oi, now we're introducing power-ups. Feather has just shown up. Quite a few different power-ups in game. For all different things. Feather will give us light, uh, the light power up, as in I'm lighter, the bike will be lighter. Watts per kilo will go up. Spacebar will activate that, but I'm not going to hit it just yet until the tutorial tells me to. There we go. I think that one of the rarest power-ups is the 250 XP points power-up. may even be a thousand if you do a certain task. Watch for those ones. Definitely worthwhile. Okay, great for when you're in an event, yep. And it rains on Zwift too. <laughs> 
Okay, it's now talking about the percentages. They're a little bit disjointed, I think, in the introduction of what's going on. I felt a hill way back down the road. It would, probably would have been better to introduce those earlier on, but this is what it is. <laughs> Eric, you just gave you a right on. Uh, Eric, the CEO. We put that in game two. Okay, it's telling us about write-ons. Much easier to do within the companion app, for sure. Okay, telling us about the companion app on the phone, which isn't Zwift, it's the blue icon, the Zwift companion. Oh, sun's out. Alrighty, now down the bottom there. Now Zwift hasn't gone full screen on us on Windows here, but you did see popping up down the bottom there the action bar. Up arrow, we'll do that on Windows or Mac. Or on the touch screen, if you just touch anywhere down near the bottom of the screen, it'll pop up with the action bar. Okay, telling us about the photos that'll be taken. Yep, so you can take snapshots during your ride and share those out. A number of those will be auto saved as well with your ride. There we go. That's the onboarding process. We've done a full lap there. Okay, next time you show up, you'll have a landing screen. So we'll do that. I'm gonna go through that entire process. That's what to expect for the first time that you ride. I'll level up soon. Yep, so I was talking about level ups. Uh, my take on that, a little bit disjointed, but how it explains everything. Um, that could change any time though, for sure. Once you get an unlock, okay, so it's still telling us about unlocks. There's all the newbie Zwifters. I'm one lap up on everyone there. Awesome. <laughs> so what we'll do, okay, finished tutorial at the archway. 23 minutes at that slower pace that I was riding today, 6.4 miles. I'll go through and we'll, we'll spend a few moments just customizing everything as you would being a new Zwifter, including that screen resolution and going to full screen. So we'll capture all of that to show you what it's all about. So for me, that was brand new, that entire process. There we go. Basic kit unlocked. And boom, everything's just started up now. So now we're getting in-game chat. So now, route complete as well. Okay, cool. Now things get busy. We are dropped in. We have graduated the tutorial. It was so-so. I give the tutorial probably about a 6 out of 10. There's a lot more to learn. Again, the GP Llama channel is where to learn about most of this including the different power-ups, how to execute them, and all the little nuances. But for now, what we need to do is just tidy up this experience a little bit. So we'll head over to the settings, first of all. Game resolution, I'm on a pretty decent gaming machine, so we're gonna go to 4K with this. Title music on, that's fine. Volume's fine. Train on difficulty, I'm going to set that to max. By default, that's 50%, which is, oh, it depends on. How you, how you see your resistance. Uh, I wanna go full screen for Zwift, and you'll see that when we restart in a moment. Power display, three second average or instant power meters can go up and down when you're pedaling. People are never really smooth. Three second average will smooth out the number on screen, but does not change the in-game momentum that Zwift uses from your power meter. So three second average is only a display, which makes it look good. Uh, everything else, metric, there we go. It, uh, defaulted to Imperial for me. Image uploading, show chat, language filter. Don't mind a few. Uh, Cusses every now and then if it doesn't get too bad, but if you do have kids, probably leave that language filter uh, on. Workout pain effect, I'm going to turn that off as well. There's our settings up here. Uh, I didn't quite get everything else correct here, including my birth date or weight. Uh, weight, we're down to 74. Uh, we're going to set the max higher. I think I'm up around 192, and I think my FTP, I'm just going to estimate around 300 at the moment. Uh, shame out my name if I want to put something at the end of that. GP Sheepy for this account, as opposed to my other account. Uh, I was born in 78. There we go. Uh, and Max was born 
You can probably hear Max in the background that he was born in 2019. Um, 177 high, I think it's around 181 because it's now in centimeters. Let's go September. Uh, and, aha, country setting. Excellent, that'll give me my flag. I am in Australia. We saw before the flag was uh, just the grayed out flag, so I'll set that to Australia. Right, so my name, my account, um, the first name will be abbreviated just to the first initial. So if you want your full name there, you're gonna have to get a little creative. That will show Shane, oh sorry, S. Miller, pipe, GP, GP. Australia, 181, okay, we have heart rate, we have weight set, we hit save on that. Okay. Done, so workouts. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the workouts or the badges or the pairings or anything like that. Um, we'll have a quick look at the garage to try, um, convert the new jersey over. I don't wanna be in the basic jersey, so we'll go to the basic Zwift jersey for now. Okay, uh, and we definitely need a pair of socks on. Now these will all unlock as the further you ride. Uh, socks and sock height all the way up. There we go, looking a little better now, socks. Me, shoes, again, all level locked there. So as you get more and more experience, you can do those. That'll do us for now for the settings. So we've gone full screen, higher res. Um, my user profile has been updated. Um, close on that. We're gonna go end ride, which gives us a summary of the ride that we've done, which is the full Latopia flats there. Timeline of the ride, just chill, critical power and all our summary there with two write-ons. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, at the end it tells us about the Zwift companion app, which I can get on mobile. It's fine, we'll save and exit that. Now I'm gonna load up Zwift again, the very last time here, just for a few minutes to show you the difference, especially with the screen resolution, once we restart that. So back over to Zwift. We will be in full screen 4K, and my avatar will be decked out. Jeepy sheepy, let's do it. Let's go. There we go, we now are full screen. And what we'll have on screen is a little different for the first time you've logged in. Now you can select the world, you can select the routes as the tutorial mentioned. So we have our pairing screen again. Uh, it's remembered the power source, my heart rate monitor. Um, I will, oh, there we go. I would have remembered that too. I just didn't, I was a bit too quick on that. So it's remembered all the pairings there for the Bluetooth. We click OK on this. This will drop us to the selection screen, which wasn't there first. Here we go, cool. So this is what it was all about. Um, we have at the top there, Watopia World. We have New York World and we have Richmond World. The numbers next to them indicate how many riders are on that course. 2,400, 1,600, and 750 on the Richmond course. From here, let's go Watopia. We can select the routes we want to ride in Watopia. And it's the same for all three available worlds. And here are the routes just here. So we can pre-select which routes and it will tell us what they're all about. Now in gray in the background, see where it says three sisters, you'll see the elevation profile. It's kind of a hidden trick that you can see how many hills are there. It's not just a flat top down. So let's go TikTok. We'll select that. Pairing status is all good. Uh, do I want to ride with another Zwifter? If I have a friend on there, they'll be at the top of that list. That's all okay. Uh, upcoming events are also there. I'm not gonna go into events now. I'll let people find that themselves. There's a guest world schedule there. Goal adding, other missions, and then I'm on a free trial. I'll leave all the rest alone because this is only the basic step through. So this is the second startup once we've changed all the settings, made my Zwifter me from Australia with the full screen. We're gonna hit ride. That'll drop us into Watopia at the start of the route that we've selected. And... Oh, ho, another menu pops up, challenges. These are a blast from the past. So Zwift currently has three challenges. There's four all up, but three are selectable. Um, unlocked at level 10. Okay, I can climb Everest, which has another secret unlock that I won't cover now. Um, we'll just select that one. And the ride totals will go towards that challenge. And there we are. We are now dropped into that route with full 4K graphics in full screen. 
My name is now Shane Miller, GP Sheepy, as you can see with the Aussie flag there. And if I use the number keys, I can have a look at the, uh, the bike I've selected and my socks. So there we are, we're up and running from zero to almost hero. We've got to get a few races under the belt first. We're now in kilometers as well for here in Australia. So there we are, the onboarding experience with Zwift as a first timer. As I've said early on, if you're already an experienced Zwifter, you may not have seen that. And if someone's called you up and said, look, I'm on Zwift, I want it to look like exactly what your Zwift looks like, they're gonna to have to go through that process first or maybe quit that um, tutorial, come back in a second time and set themselves up and get themselves ready to go. Interesting stuff. All right, we'll leave it there for today. Uh, it's time for me to get my real ride in for the day, but uh, that was a good warm up. All right, thanks for watching this one. And remember, if you found this informative, give the video a thumbs up. And to support this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. All right, thanks for watching.